In Onshape, you can use the Extrude tool to add or remove material normal to your sketch or a flat planar surface. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have a part open with a sketch. I'm going to use this sketch to create three different parts in my part studio. You can start off by selecting a portion of a sketch and then hold down the right mouse button. And then from the right mouse button menu, I can choose the extrude tool. And then I realize, oh wait, I want to extrude a couple other portions of the surface along with it. If you take a look in the dialog box, the faces and sketch regions to extrude is highlighted. So I can just left click on the additional segments that I want to add. In the graphics area, I have a drag handle that I can use to change the depth of the feature. I can even use it to change the direction of the feature. In the dialog box, I can plug in a value that I want for the depth. Let me change this to 600 and hit the enter key and zoom out a little bit. There I have my first extrude set up. Let's take a look at the dialog box for a moment. Here we have it saying that this is going to create extrude one. From here, you could change the name of the feature. You can create solids and surfaces. In this video, we're just going to take a look at creating solid features. Here we are creating a brand new part. Later on, I'm going to add geometry to the same part. We can also remove material. And here's the option for intersect. So this is good for the first one. We'll take a look at some of the other different options in the next few features. I will hit the check mark in order to create the first feature. An alternative way of starting an extrude is by using the command in the ribbon. I will click on extrude. And this time I'm going to select this face and then left click on this face as well. We're getting a default depth of 25. That's a blind depth. Here is an arrow that you can use to change the direction of the feature, but I like it being in this direction. So I will hit the check mark. If you take a look in the parts list, here we have part one created. For the next feature that I want to make, it'll be convenient for me to hide part one. I can still see my sketch. If you can't see the sketch, you can use the eyeball in the tree in order to make it visible again. So for the next one, let's start off by creating an extrude. I'm going to select the same two portions of the sketch that I did before, but this time I'm going to use a blind depth out here to some value. I'm going to make it a value of 400. This is going to be the second part in my vise. Here you can see that right now it is giving me new material. If I chose add, it would add it to part one, but you can even see down here that it says that this is going to create a second part. For this part, I'm gonna add a second end position and I'm gonna offset it inside here. And that way I'm creating a new part that is completely offset from my previous part. And I just did a little math in here in order to figure out where I wanted that positioned. Let's hit the check mark. So there I have my second part created. Let me make my first part visible again. So that's good for this particular one. Now let me create my last one. I will select that portion of the sketch. Oops, didn't get the extrude command. Looks like I just picked a portion of it. Let's make it easy on myself and click on the extrude tool. And then I will grab the center here. And then for another different depth, instead of using blind, I can go to the drop down list. And here you can choose up to next, up to face, up to part, up to vertex, or through all. Through all is something that you can use if you are removing material. But I'm going to choose up to face and then pick this flat surface. And then for my second end position, well, I want it going in the other direction. Let's use a value of 50 in the other direction for the bar for my vice. And again, I am creating a brand new part in this particular situation. I will hit the check mark. And there you can see that now I have three parts created in my part studio. If you want to, you can select one of the parts, right click on it, and from here, we can rename the part. So for example, I can call this one the base. And also you can right click on it and choose assign material. 
and from the material library I can go to the drop down list and select a material that I want to use and hit the check mark and so in that way we are able to use the extrude tool to create geometry one last thing before I finish up in this part studio I'm going to hide the sketch in order to reduce the clutter on my screen now let's take a look at some extrudes using remove and intersect I'm going to click on my other part studio where I have a couple of sketches these are just circles I will choose the first sketch and then hit the extrude tool and this time I'm going to change the option to symmetric and the depth for this one let's use a value of 120 that's good hit the check mark to complete that one and also let's shell this particular part I'm going to select to remove the top face let me roll the model and then pick the bottom face and we are going to use a depth uh, let's make it a little bit wider let's use a value of 10 okay so that's good for my first part now let's choose to do an extrude with the other sketch and you by the way you'll notice that sketch one was automatically hidden when I made an extrude from it let's choose this sketch and I will choose the extrude tool and once again let's change the option to use a symmetric depth but this time instead of adding material I'm going to remove material and let me grab the depth handle and then drag it out so in this particular situation you can see how it is going to end up slicing through my model and removing material let me change the value for the depth to be 100 and I like that let's hit the check mark and so now I have removed material with the extrude let me go to the drop down list here and create a section view I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut of the letter P to turn on the display of my planes so I can select the plane called front and hit the check mark and then let's use the keyboard shortcut to turn off the display of the planes again so there you can see how we are using the extrude in order to create the cut in the model now let's go back to the extrude and I can right click on it and choose the edit command and this time I will change the option to the intersect command and that's good let's hit the check mark and you can see how we have different geometry I'll go to the drop down and turn the section view off and so you can see that we end up with a markedly different result when we choose to create an extrude as the result of the intersection of the new extrude with the existing geometry in the model and the last option to take a look at in this video let's go to this part studio and I have a single sketch it is a rectangle let me turn off the display of my planes I will select the face right mouse click and hold and choose to extrude and let's extrude this upwards I'm going to use a depth of 100 just plug in the number and hit the enter key but there is another option in here for applying draft and when I click on the draft you can see right now the draft is going to the outside and you can change the value of the draft here we can choose let's say value of 5 degrees let's try value of 10 degrees and you can see how it goes outward I'm going to change this back to 5 but let's use this button in order to change the draft going into the opposite direction and I'll crank this up to 10 degrees and you can see how it's getting narrower and now when I plug in 30 degrees it's actually converging down to a point because it's actually removing the top surface from the model so in this way I can have it changing into a pyramid shape similarly if I was starting off with a circle and extruding it with enough draft I can end up with a cone shape so there you can see some of the different main options for creating an extrude in on shape I hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindchill.com if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded thank you very much